Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Claudia! Oh, Claudia! Mm, is somebody calling me or something? Somebody is calling you, and you know it. Mm, um, somebody calling? Claudia! What, huh? What? All right. Now, you're a fine actress, and I've known it ever since I saw you do the fifth Mrs. Tankery at dramatic school. Second. Second what? Second Mrs. Tanqueray. I was sleeping. Sleeping? You haven't been in bed all the time? I haven't been in bed all day. I don't try to sound like an innocent little lamb. You're a disobedient and unruly patient. That's a fine thing to call anyone so early in the morning. Well, you ask for it. Despite everything Dr. Williams and your mother and I, and especially Bertha, told you, you got out of bed. Really? Really. Can you prove it? Your toothbrush is wet. Oh, that. Shakespeare must have used it. Such a clean cat. Oh, and you are such a clean storyteller. <laughs> you were up and out of bed. You know you aren't supposed to get up all day. You seem to have forgotten what a narrow escape you had yesterday. But nothing happened. Nothing happened. But enough happened for Dr. Williams to order you to bed. Now, are you going to watch me prepare breakfast in bed? You can't prepare it in bed. You've got to prepare it in the kitchen. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that wasn't said. Now, here's your cat, and you can try your jokes on him while I cook. Then after breakfast, to work I go. I'm spending the whole day home with my drawing board and you. I'll get caught up on my work for the office. And now, without further ado, to breakfast. David, you think I'm going to lie here doing nothing while you slave over a hot stove? Exactly. Try it for a change, and that's an order. David! Now what? You have to make my bed first. How's that? If you're going to be a nurse, the first thing you've got to do is make the bed. With me in it. Breakfast comes first. Where did you take your nurse's training? Well, never mind where I took it. I'm visiting nurse. I'm just visiting in the bedroom because I really belong in the kitchen. <laughs> I think Shakespeare's hungrier than I am this morning. You better get his breakfast first. Let him get his own breakfast this morning. I've got more important things to do. And Bluff, you've got to feed Bluff. We forgot all about him. You, a cat, a dog. We don't need a nurse here. We need a veterinarian and two assistants. And if I catch you out of bed when I go into the kitchen, I'm going to be very severe. I'll wreak some dreadful revenge. I'll, I'll, I'll sprinkle crumbs all over the sheets. <laughs> David, listen to me. You've got to make the bed before breakfast. You've got to. It's the system. What system? Woman system? Boy, I say. Mrs. Norton, first comes breakfast, and then comes beds, and then come blueprints. I'm going to show you how a man handles housework, and you'll be surprised how easy it is. I'll have time to take care of you and do my work for the office, too. Give me another pillow, David. I'm going to have a wonderful day. Sugar for the coffee, coffee for the sugar, perking for the coffee, coffee for the perking, coffee for the stove, they stove it for the coffee, coffee in the cuppy, coffee in the saucer, sugar in the coffee, coffee in the mouthy. Claudia! What? You have funny sugar, it won't melt. Oh! What's the matter? Don't shout, I'm coming. Did you get the sugar out of the sugar can? Naturally. Oh, David, that's the flour. <laughs> All right, now. Now roll over on your right side. I am. You're on your left side. Don't be silly. I'm on yours. How do you expect me to get this bottom sheet underneath if you won't roll over? All right, I'll roll. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I say three, and then I'll pull out the one you've been on already. All right, you ready? Ready. One, two, three. <laughs> Well, I've 
We finished uh, breakfast and the bed. Not bad. Now I'm getting to work. What time is it? 11.30. 11.30? How did you get to be that? At time for Bluff's walk. That means me, too. When am I supposed to get my work done? When you get back, I guess, and after lunch. <laughs> Old boy, this lunch it now. Lunch is over. Claudia napping, and here's the last of the dishes. Uh oh, uh oh! I'll just kick it under the sink. Now, now at last, now to work. Oh, it's subversive. Now what? Coming, 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 coming. Hello, hello, mother. Oh yeah, she's fine. Yeah, she's staying in bed. How's Long Island? <laughs> You don't say. Oh, good. She's asleep now. No, things are going smoothly here. No, no, I I don't mind doing housework, only... Oh, there's the doorbell now. That's the way it's been all day long. Yes, I'd, I'd better go answer it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell her goodbye. Bells, dogs, dishes, bells, bells, oh... Oh, Bertha, come in. Mrs. Norton's asleep, but I'll take the laundry. Shakespeare, you just finished a bowl of milk. Now, you'll have to digest it while I answer this. Coming. Hello. Oh, hello, Kelly. I'm... I'm sorry, old man. I haven't looked at those blueprints yet. Oh, no, 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 no. She isn't sick. No, I haven't been giving her medicines. Well, what do you think I've been doing? I've been ordering the groceries. There they are. So long. I don't hear you. You shut up. David! I'm dead. The clock. Oh, good heavens. Claudia! Claudia, what time do I start making dinner? What are you shouting for? I'm shouting because... Well, what are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to smell somebody smoking a pipe. Well, you get back in bed. I haven't smoked a pipe all day. I haven't done any work all day either. All I want is you to get back in the bed and tell me if it's time to start making dinner. It is. Then please get back in bed and I'll get back in the kitchen. <laughs> And don't forget to make some dinner for Bluff, too. Claudia, if you don't get back in bed, I'll... I'll... Lamb chops, here I come. David. David. Huh? Uh, what? David, you put the lamb chops in about ten minutes ago. Don't you think you ought to take another look? Lamb chops? What happened? I think you fell asleep. Asleep? Oh, my aching chops. And don't forget Bluff's supper. How can I forget him? He's practically had his mouth in my pocket all day long. Come on, old boy. All right, Bluff, old fellow. Now, now you just sit over there and watch Oscar of the Nortons do his stuff. Now, let's open up the little brick oven and take a look at the chops, hmm? Well, they look all right, don't they, chum? Yeah. Daddy's an all right chef, isn't he? Here comes the chops. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. They do look a little dark, don't they? Oh, well, I like them dark, and so does Claudia. What's taking so long? Did the chops get up and walk away? Here comes the chops. Uh, do, 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 do. Here comes the dinner fit for a queen. Is there a queen in the house? You mean dinner is really ready all at the same time? Yes, 
same time. Mm, that queen is exactly what I do mean. Oh. Your grand chamberlain, Mr. Shakespeare, tells me the peas are fine. <laughs> the chief meat chef, Mr. Bluff, was raving, simply raving about the lamb chops. <laughs> and as for the rolls, I bought them. It looks worthy of your finest efforts, chief chef. Just wait till I get my pillow straight. Mm, you ready? Ready? Yep, just a there. there you are. Now the tray, your majesty, descends. David, it looks marvelous. Oh, nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. Just followed what it said in the cookbook with a faint touch of instinct. Even have parsley on the lamb chop. Just a sprig. A mere sprig. Mm. Mm. You don't think they're too well done, do you? Oh, no. Some people love them black. Mm. How about the peas? Fine! Everybody knows that cooking things too long takes away all their food value. These are nice and raw. I'm glad you like them that way. I know I do. And, and I think it's a wonderful idea not to warm the rolls up. I mean, when they're hot, it's such a waste of butter. Well, now that you're all set, I'll get my dinner, too. David, bring me a napkin while you're at it. Oh, did I forget that? I wonder what I could be thinking of. Here, Bluff, wouldn't you like to eat a nice old lamb chop? It's kind of black, but... Maybe you like him that way. That's fine, Bluff. Thanks an awful lot. Didn't he wish Shakespeare were here to help me with the peas? He likes chewing on pebbles. Here comes the chops. A -do 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 -do. Here is the chef's own dinner. <laughs> if He's you going are to eat it in bed, too. Favorite nurse and chambermaid. I can't think of another trained nurse who climbs into the next bed just to keep the patient company. It's just that little extra touch of service that makes Norton Hospital the unique institution it is. <laughs> you know our motto, spend your vacation at Norton. Hasn't been much of a vacation for you, mm, has it? It's been a perfect vacation. I haven't had a minute free all day to do my work. What have you been doing all day? I don't know. I don't know what I've been doing. Except that I'll never ask you that again when I come home from the office. Oh, here it goes again. David, watch out the train! This is the end. <laughs> This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. If you're one of those who think entertaining and work go together, here's a happy suggestion. Just order a case of Coca-Cola from your favorite food store... Or have your service station attendant put a case in the car. Put plenty of Coke in the refrigerator, and you're ready to toss the welcome mat in front of the door. You can serve Coke right in the bottle if you wish, and there'll be no glasses to wash. And the price is still only five cents a bottle. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you, transcribed, with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.